Hi, this is Darren from Property Prosperity. I'm just out at a client's block at number 11 Ralph Street, Sturt. Uh, they bought a, the block at the back, which is a hammerhead block. Um, you can see it there, I suppose. Um, you can see around here, this is the house at the front. So it was actually two blocks of land that they subdivided. Um, somebody subdivided, they, they just bought it off as a, already subdivided. Um, the person at the front's already built their house. Uh, my clients are still um, finalizing everything now and hopefully getting their house started in uh, pretty early on in the new year, so probably in the next month they'll probably get their slab going down. Um, things to look out for when you've got a hammerhead block though is uh, obviously the driveway, who's going to be paying for the cost of that. Also uh, the um, any retaining walls or any other issues. You notice here, well I don't know if you notice here, but you can sort of see that it actually uh, slopes down a bit at the back where the other um, house at the front has built their house up a bit. So that means we're going to have to have a bit of retaining wall uh, to separate the two houses. What they've actually done, rather than building the retaining wall, they've actually incorporated the house as a part of the retaining wall. So but this section here is actually going to be where they're going to put a double garage. And so they've actually built it up so that they can actually use the house to retain itself. And then from there on, they're going to have the, the rest of the rooms going to the back there. And the, this sort of, with the hammerheads, that you've really got to um, try and work on the private open space and have enough room to um, you know, have enough, a decent sized backyard. So in their example here, they're actually going to have a bit of a side yard. So they're probably about four metres or so off the off the side boundary. And that's where they're going to have all their living areas facing onto. And they have a bit of a boundary, uh, a backyard at the back there as well. But um, really got to try and make the space work as much as we can. So, yeah, fortunately, we've got through all those sort of issues and got through with council. So now it's just a matter of um, finalising a few little minor things with the, the, the client wanted to change around. But once that's all sorted, then we can get the slab laid and get the house built as soon as we can. So we'll... We'll let you know how things go, but uh, I'm sure everything will be fine from here on.